Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to the latest iOS 11.1.1. So let's go and do it right away. So let's just go right into settings. Under settings, you guys will scroll down so you see general. Under general, it's your second option, all right? About software update. Just tap there and you guys will get this. So the first step is to download and then it's going to install. If you guys don't click on install now by the time it downloads, well, then it's just going to install by itself. So let's just tap here to get this started. If you guys already are in iOS 11, then you guys don't need to worry too much about the time that this will take. Now, if you guys are updating from iOS 10 or iOS 9 to iOS 11 right now, then I suggest making a backup on your computer using iTunes, which is a free program for Windows and Mac. Once you put in your passcode, or if you guys don't have a passcode, you guys don't have to worry about that, it's gonna start downloading. So the download shouldn't take more than five minutes really, but if you guys have regular speed, then it shouldn't take more than two minutes. The installation time, no more than five minutes. And what's gonna happen? Well, we're gonna see an Apple logo. Okay, so it's gonna turn off black screen. Apple logo, which is a white screen with an Apple logo loading bar. It's gonna do that once, and then it's just gonna restart, and that's it. It's a really simple update if you guys are already in iOS 11 and just making this quick update. Now, again, if you guys are just updating from iOS 10 or another iOS from um, before iOS 11, then it's gonna be a bigger update. And I suggest watching other videos where you see um, people updating to iOS 11 and not iOS 11.1.1 since usually people do that when they already are on iOS 11. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Anyways, uh, just make sure to have 50% of your battery. If you don't, don't worry about it. You guys can just plug it into your computer or just to a plug and have that charging me while you're updating. Even when I'm in 100%, when I'm doing any updates, I have it charging. I know that's not the best thing for your iPhone, iPad, or Touch. However, uh, that way you make sure that nothing happens. When this is installing and um, let's say freezes or it turns off or just get stuck then you guys might have to restore it and that's why it's always good to make a backup on your computer or using iCloud iCloud as you know you only have a couple gigs there but if you don't on your computer it's pretty much unlimited so I do suggest doing it on your computer if you guys don't more don't have more iCloud space um, anyways that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you